I'm Calista Redmond, CEO of Risk 5 International, and I'm so excited to share with you a few thoughts today. You know, open standards and collaboration now underpin the most important advances that we collectively as a society have made in hardware. Risk 5 defines open computing. We are, in fact, inevitable. With more than 10 billion cores shipping already in market today, we have unleashed a global potential never before seen in compute. We see this coming out in announcements every day from around the world from important uh, industry leaders, multinationals and luminaries, as well as startups and governments and students. The potential is unrivaled. We see the best processors coming from RISC-V. RISC-V is really the innovation dream come true. We see this in the design potential that is only uh, capable on RISC-V due to things like reserved encoding space, a single hypervisor standard, and other attributes that allow you the design freedom to really tackle the innovation challenges that you're seeking. And we are building the biggest, strongest ecosystem. The collective investment of thousands of companies and millions of individuals coming together on Risk Five has been the collective advancement and acceleration of seeing this ecosystem come to life. And the analysts are predicting an even brighter future. That future is underscored by new workloads coming about from AI and machine learning. It is coming to us because we're looking for um, profound processing capability across domains. This future is bright and risk five is tracking according to trend. And this is something we can all together be proud of. That collective investment is coming from so many different stakeholders, from multinationals investing more deeply in their strategies around risk five to governments and uh, conglomerates coming together and joining forces. Because at the end of the day, collaboration really sets the foundation for all of our independent success. Let's think about some of the success that we're seeing already. In telecom and consumer, we're seeing a lot of uptake around Android and other capabilities that have allowed for that freedom and flexibility from Bluetooth and wireless to central processing. We've seen this in consumer devices now coming out with you know, the first RISC-V laptops and other types of innovations. We're seeing IoT continue to grow. IoT and embedded are a couple of the areas that really started the transition to risk five, and we're seeing more and more evidence of this around the world. We're seeing this in AI and ML as companies in, uh, from data centers to edge really seek to add increased differentiation to their solutions that they're bringing to market. This is brought about by lots of partnerships around our community, including from important companies in Taiwan. We're seeing this also in automotive. You know, automotive is growing tremendously fast and we are on course to capture more than 10% of that market by 2025. This is profound when you think about where we've come from just a few short years ago. We're seeing this also in data center and cloud. Data center and cloud uh, evidence coming from uh, large organizations like Meta who are using it for AI, from Alibaba who has been using it in their, their data centers, and from companies in Asia who are also looking to advance their data center capabilities and their ability to compete and differentiate in an ever-growing market. HPC. HPC is an area of profound investment from governments and uh, local uh, organizations around the world, as well as the research institutes and other uh, organizations that have deep interest in progressing the state of the art. Risk Five really has started uh, in on uh, HPC for several years now, and we're so excited to see more clusters coming to market. Now, none of this is possible without the profound developer ecosystem that is amassing around Risk Five. This year alone, we've uh, offered up 130 different development boards to our community to bring their workloads to Risk Five. This is a testament to not only the uh, ecosystem appetite and the profound interest in running workloads on RISC-V, but also the great efforts of the RISC-V hardware community in bringing these implementations from developer kits and dev boards to virtual environments as a real fast track accelerated on-ramp for the developer community. And we're growing. We're growing profoundly fast. As you can see from this illustration, we have vested interest from libraries to uh, design and verification and everything in between. IP providers, software, hardware, 
you name it, there's a place for each of these stakeholders in the RISC-V community. We've made great progress as RISC-V International together with our members. There is a true contributor culture that is, at, that is underway here. And those efforts of members from around the world rolling up their sleeves hands on code has allowed us to ratify and bring to market about a dozen different uh, specifications this year, including profiles. These are things that are fundamental to the base building blocks to bring a RISC-V implementation to market. And this is a strategic area of engagement for many of our members. That progress is continuing uh, and to gain even more light with our profound marketing efforts. This is the year where we've had three major summits, the RISC-V Summit Europe, China, and coming up in November in North America. You know, I am absolutely astounded by the number of announcements that we've seen at each of the two summits already and my inbox is beginning to fill up on anticipated announcements for the November RISC-V Summit in North America. I encourage you to engage. There are so many ways. If you're unable to do those events, we have other ways that we can help amplify your success through blogs, social media, and other uh, unique ways that we can help amplify. This includes webinars and other forums to really engage your customers, your partners, and your end users. That engagement extends to the local efforts at a community level. These, uh, you know, the, the number of meetups and community organizations and alliances that RISC-V has continue to grow each year. These are very important for us as we continue to work locally and act globally. So that local work includes things going on in Taiwan around the association there, as well as numerous uh, associations that are focused on regional efforts, technical efforts, including things like security, and other ways that we as an organization collaborate with others to get work done and to ensure that there is a reduction in the duplication of any efforts that we each do independently. We also have a great deal of effort going on with our ambassadors and advocates around the world, as well as new uh, training now available in Chinese and as well as certification exams. So if you are not already a member of RISC-V International, I encourage you to engage with us. Think about how this can help progress your technical agenda, your technical roadmap, working shoulder to shoulder with the experts in your industry. Become one of those leaders, become one of those industry luminaries, and you can be proud of the work that we together do on RISC-V. Think about RISC-V as you know, goal number one, ensuring our member success. Our role in this community is to help enable commercial and academic progress. And that's something that we take very seriously. So talk to us about how we can help support your success, whether it's through skill building or through amplification of the work you've already done. Thank you so much. Enjoy this conference. Use this time to build your network, to find new partners, new customers, to engage with your peers, learn new skills, and go deeper into your RISC-V strategy.